www.reverbinglife.net. I'm here with the multi-talented Chris Lithgow here at the El Portel Theater in North Hollywood. And Chris, you wrote, produced, and gosh, what didn't you do on Snow White's Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I did. I wrote it. I uh, produced it. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it's a lot of fun for everybody, a lot of fun for families. Um, yeah, it was a good experience. My second one, so. Really? My first one was Cinderella. We're bringing back Cinderella again. Um, my, uh, s this, this Snow White one, though, was, the cast is just amazing. I was actually invited a couple of weeks ago when you had like a preview and kind of get the bugs out and there really were no bugs in. But I hear it's even more spectacular, more funny, and people are just much more relaxed. There just wasn't any from, from day one. It was very, it's a very, very slick show. Very, and, and again, it's down to the quality of the casting. It, the cast is just unbelievable. I'm here with the lovely Becky Bailing, one of the producers of the show at Snow White Christmas. Becky, how did it all get started? It all got started because young Chris Lithgow, growing up with Nigel Lithgow and Bonnie Lithgow, Nigel would direct, sorry, Nigel would write pantos and Bonnie would direct the pantos. And so when Chris moved to Los Angeles, he saw a need for family theater, for family interactive theater of this proportion that they've had in England since the 1600s, really, with these pantos where every town would put on a panto at the holiday season. So Chris said, I've got to make this happen here in Los Angeles and then across the nation, having pantos be a tradition as much as Nutcracker or Christmas Carol mm -hmm. is for us Americans. So we started right here in Los Angeles, all of us together, Bonnie Lithgow, Chris Lithgow, and myself, um, last year, uh, right here at the El Portal well, Theater, and this is our second season. I've never been to an interactive audience play before. Mm, yes. It's a great idea. It's a great thing. Um, we've got, the closest we have in America really is melodrama, mm -hmm. um, but in England, panto, as we know it is, it's interpreted as interactive, so you completely boo all of the evil yes. people, all the evil characters in each show, and cheer all the good people. And of course, all pantos are based on classic grim fairy tales. So it's something we can all relate to and easily assimilate into cheering for the good guys and booing for the bad guys. And I've heard so far there's a lot of sold out shows. Yes. I know you're running till the end of December. We're running until December 18th with mm -hmm. Snow White. And then right after that opens Cinderella, Excellent. starring Shoshana Bean, Fred Willard, and um, David Hernandez of American Idol. Right. And that runs until January 8th, right through the holiday season. Fred Willard, so it should be very funny as well. Fred Willard is the comedy improv magic man. He's amazing. And you know him from Best in Show and a lot of those Christopher Guest movies. And um, yes, he is playing Cinderella's father. And I fathom it will be different every single night that oh, you yes. see him. Tell me a bit about the cast here because after watching, there's some amazing talent. Oh, yes. Tonight we have um, Neil Patrick Harris, obviously, plays the mirror. It's pre-recorded uh, magic mirror. And he is hilarious and amazing. And then Marina Sirtis of Star Trek. She plays our wicked queen. And then, of course, the lovely Lindsay Pierce, who was from the Glee Project, but actually her second episode of Glee is airing the first week of December. So she um, is going to be on Fox at the exact same time as on our stage. So a lot of incredible, incredible talent on this stage today. And tell me about uh, your Prince Charming? Oh, uh, Prince Charming. Well, in life, Chris Lithgow, who wrote the script. But on stage, <laughs> we've got Eric Bergen, who is um, from Jersey Boys as well. Uh, he played that up in Vegas, and um, he's ridiculously talented and so good with the interact interaction with the audience as well. Just his subtle movements, that whole hip Oh, thing. yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got a couple um, um, looks and mugs that he does to the audience that are, are absolutely priceless, and he wins over everybody the second he gets on stage. So. And now, who is the loyal subject to the Queen? Um, the loyal subject of the Queen is Jonathan Scott Meza, who is Muddles is his name. He's also the uh, best friend of Snow White. And then the loyal servant um, is played by David Figlioli, who is Herman the Huntsman. And he's out to do the Queen's bidding, but not in a um, wanting way. He really secretly loves Snow White, but he sometimes just has to do the job because he wants to stay in the good graces of the Queen. I'm here with Jonathan Meza, who plays the part of Muddles amazingly well, I might add. Is this a good time for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got a little time right now. We, uh, we're going to be doing a show at 7 o'clock, and we've got an hour and a half-ish. So they picked you for models. Is that because you're you know, a very quiet personality? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not exactly uh, an extrovert. I'm an insanely, uh, so, so much of an introvert. And no, absolutely not. No, I'm, I'm very crazy and out there, and I, I tend to be more of the comedy of the show, so it's, it's, it's good.
in almost every scene of the show. I love it. I have to, full disclosure, I've seen the show, love it. I want to get everybody else out to come see it as well. Yes. Yes, definitely come check it out. It's at the uh, El Portal Theater in uh, North Hollywood. Um, you can find tickets, what, online? I'm sure you guys will have a thing like oh, yeah. down here on the bottom of the screen. It's oh, yeah. great. It's a wonderful show, comedy, great for the kids and for the adults. I mean, really, they say it's from like for kids from like 2 to 200, and it truly is. It really isn't, you know, Jonathan is only on a break right now, so we're going to let him go, but you're going to see snippets of him throughout the, uh, throughout the evening, and he is pretty crazy and wonderfully amazing. Yes. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you very much, Robert. Enjoy the show. Thanks a lot. I'm here with Eric Bergen. He plays Prince Charming magnificently. Eric, yes. amazing show. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. It's a blast. We have a lot of fun up there. And how long did it take you to get ready for the show? You know, we only had about a week to prep for the show, really, and then to learn the show. And then in the second week, uh, by Wednesday, which was the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, we were in the theater on, on the stage teching the show. So we really learned it in about a week. And we're, you know, and we've, we've, we now feel that we've gotten comfortable with that. There's a couple of scenes here with you and Models. It just yes. cracks me up. He is, Jonathan Meza is one of those actors that is what I, what I always call fearless. Um, because they, there is no word no in their vocabulary vocabulary they just get up on the stage and they just go and for me who doesn't come from the improv background right. um, uh, it, it's it's very inspiring and very helpful on stage because it gets you to that next beat a lot faster what I was mentioned to you off camera before it's just, it seems like you guys have been working together for years but you, some of you just met some of us, most of us just met uh, in fact I would say all of us except for me and Michael Orland the music director have not met before this group, I think when you're forced into an environment where you have to get a show up and you've been, you know, the Becky and, and Chris Lithgow hired a group of people that um, really just, they felt comfortable with and uh, they felt that, you know, had the background to do this right. And when they all put us in the same room, it, it just, we just all sort of clicked and trusted each other. Right. It was a big and thing. trust is the main issue. And it's obvious with uh, Chris and Becky and Bonnie and, and uh, you guys have a, a, the culmination of some great talent. We really, are, we got really lucky on this one. We got really lucky on this one because I've done, I got to say, I've done shows in the past where there's always one or two people that you don't want to deal with or you wish were better. And I, this hasn't happened on, that, on this show yet. I'm still waiting for Jonathan Mazer to screw up. <laughs> you never know it though. I never know it with him. You really never know. And he is very quick witted. So it's, it's throwing me for a loop. That's fun. Eric, thank you so much. Amazing show. Great talent. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I'm here with Thaddeus Welch, the director's assistant. How is it working for the wonderful Bonnie Lithgow? Oh gosh, um, working for Bonnie is so easy. It's it's effortless. I, I uh, this is my first time being her assistant, mm -hmm. and we've just hit it off. It's it's just amazing. I I know the Lithgow family for a while. I've been working on so you think you can dance the last four seasons, and uh, you know knowing uh, the Lithgows through that right. is how Chris had uh, said, hey, you know what, you should come and help out and be with my mom. You guys will hit it off really famously. So, uh, yeah, so I started that, and it's been great. Um, you know, we just sit there, and and she she does her magic. She works her blocking, and and I make sure she stays happy and put any input in that I can help with. But Absolutely. Get her it's a, excellent. Get her protein drinks, whatever she needs throughout the day. Oh, no, it's tea. Tea. Tea Yorkshire Gold uh, I got it. with a splash of milk, no sugar. Remember that if I you come down Bonnie. to the show. Yes. I love you, Bonnie. Bring Bonnie tea or me so I can make it for her. And, uh, <laughs> no. How are you enjoying the show? Oh, this show's the best. I mean, I've, I've done theater, I've done television, I've worked on like red carpets at the Oscars, mm -hmm. things like that, and it's, it doesn't compare. It does not compare. And it was so fun when I actually saw this that they actually want us to boo every time the queen comes out. The kids are really into it. Oh, the kids love it. You, you tell kids to boo, and they will boo. You tell them to talk back, and they will figure out something oh, yeah. to say. Oh, yeah. And which is great. Well, you know, in rehearsal, um, it was a thing where Bonnie and I would, uh, when when they would ask, "What do you think, boys and girls? Should I take a bite of this apple or things like that?" We to help them would yell out oh, like things, good. not always just boo or no or yeah. don't, but like one time I yelled to Snow White when she was like, "What do you think, boys and girls? Should I take a bite of the apple?" I said, "No, it'll turn you mortal," and you could see that's a, a reaction where they're like. Oh, I need to think funny. of something. I need to think of something when someone says that to me. But it's really fun because uh, these guys, the actors have picked up more. I don't know, not all of them have been in a acting situation where they throw out or break that fourth wall. And uh, they're, they're really, it's growing on them. I mean, Marina Sirtis, uh, she said that she was Snow White in Panto when she was younger. Wow. And she hasn't done Panto since. So here's full circle her playing oh, the evil wow. queen. That's but it's great. been so many years. She was right. like, I don't even know how to do this anymore. Yeah, as you'll see. Yep. 
brilliant. Yes, she and is. she's smart and funny and evil, and it's great. Well, it's amazing. Thank you so much, That is. Thank you so Talk much. So. This is pretty amazing. Like I said, your cast, unbelievable. And even though Neil Patrick Harris is the mirror and he's not really here, you can't help but laugh your tail off. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of people have actually have said, oh, you know, I thought Neil was going to be here. And we, and we do promote him, obviously, being on screen, Magic Mirror. But, you know, as I, as I say to people, he's also on screen in How I Met Your Mother, and he still steals the show. Exactly. <laughs> and he really does. I mean, and this, uh, you know, the, 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 the cast that are here are amazing, but there's certain parts, as, as, as you know, that when Neil uh, speaks as the magic mirror, they're just hilarious. Right. He is just, and I have to say, when we did the filming with him at mm -hmm. CBS, he got it first take. Yeah. Every single moment. I mean, absolute pro, he got it first take. Well, we know this is an amazing project. You guys have to come down to the El Portel up until December 18th. Check online. They're scheduling new shows all the time because it's getting sold out all the time. Right now, let's go over to, and talk about Cinderella for a minute. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. So, Chris, here we are in front of Cinderella Christmas. Now, when does that start? Uh, Cinderella Christmas starts on December the 22nd. Uh, we're doing the two previews on the 22nd, uh, and then we run until the January the 8th, so all through Christmas week. So anyone who doesn't know what to do with their kiddies all through Christmas week, come on down to the El Porto Theatre. We're doing Cinderella Christmas. Well, it's pretty wonderful because, again, you go from a Snow White Christmas to Cinderella Christmas, and I can't wait to see it myself because I know I'll be back checking it out, but you've got some amazing talent. Indeed, yeah. I mean, Fred Willard. I mean, <laughs> you know, nothing needs to be said about Fred Willard. I'm an absolute legend, and I can't wait to work with him. Uh, we've got Shoshana Bean as well, who Shoshana was uh, Elphaba and Wicked on Broadway. She was the second Elphaba. So uh, that's going to be the voices, obviously, going to be unbelievable vocals. And you were mentioning that you also, besides that one, you also wrote this one as well. I did, yeah. I wrote Cinderella Christmas. We, we played out last year. Um, and we were slow business-wise for the first week, word got out, and then the last two weekends we were completely sold out. So we decided to bring this back this year Great. to see how we're going to, and so far, I mean, it's, you know, it's really selling really well again. Well, how could it not with a multi-talented family such as you have, a great cast, nice location. Thank you so much, Chris. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Wicked queen, oh wicked queen, I cannot lie to you. There is a maiden who's turned 18 much fairer than you. What? What? Who is it? Pardon? I said, who is it? I will have her imprisoned immediately. The maiden's name, which I'm sure will delight, is your beautiful niece, Snow White.
think so far? It's excellent. Yeah, I'm really impressed. You like the humor? Yeah, really funny. And the, the kids love the, the music and the, the pop song. You guys had a good time tonight. Oh, it's great. I, I haven't been to a pantomime for years, so it's good to come see one in L.A. It was wonderful. These guys are really bringing a nice tradition to L.A. Oh, it is, yeah. And we're joining in, and it's great, just like England. So it makes a difference that you know Chris Lithgow and Bonnie, they brought it basically to the States yeah, so we can be educated and have a good time with it. Yeah, it's a tradition in England to watch it over Christmas time, and now I can come and watch it here, so I'm happy. And then at the end of the month, you can come back and watch Cinderella. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. That would be great. Thank you so much. <laughs> so you guys have a great time tonight? Love it. It's hilarious. Fun time. Did you think it'd be this funny? Until I went last year, so I knew what I was ready for. <laughs> I had no idea. We've never really had this in the States, especially over here in North Hollywood. So I'm so glad you guys are here. Are you having fun? Yeah. Americans don't know what a pantomime is. Not really. They think it's somebody that just does a play without talking. <laughs> so you can come back again soon? Definitely. Listen, guys, enjoy the rest of the show, and thank you so much. As you can tell, an exciting time here in North Hollywood at the incredible El Portel Theater. Everybody's having a lot of fun. You can see they were doing the whole dancing thing with the YMCA. I join in, but, you know, I don't want to show them up. Kidding. I want to thank Chris Lithgow and everybody that talked to us tonight. It was a great time here. We got a sneak peek into a Snow White Christmas. A wonderful, wonderful story. You can tell people had a great time here. And to everybody, have a happy holiday. I'm Robert Vincent for BurbankLife.net. here with Blitzen. He's one of the stars of the show with Snow White Christmas as well as he's in Cinderella. Blitzen, are you having a good time tonight? How many performances have you... You are having a good time. Oh, good. So are you getting paid enough? I didn't think so. See? What are you going to do? Oh, you're not really bad, huh? So tell me, you're going to be starring in Cinderella as well, correct? Oh, nice. He's liking that one too, that big smile. I think you're the same dentist. You're pretty amazing, yes you are. You're pretty amazing.